Hey guys, this is Rob, your online guitar teacher, and I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought it's time for an FAQ. So, most important questions first. Hey Rob, you alive? Yes. I've not been doing videos this year. I know this year is quite young. But I've not been doing videos this year. There's been a few other things that I've been getting on with. Um, a few different projects I've been involved with. Um, and various other things happening. So I've not been able to make a video. As for future videos, it's not something that I'm going to give up on. But if videos are a bit irregular at the moment, that's just because I've got other things going on. I'm doing a lot of teaching in schools and it kind of pushes everything else that I was doing um, to the side. But I will continue doing videos. Oh, I learned this half a year ago, but my problem is keeping a melody or phrasing and improv. That is my only downfall in my playing. I just do senseless scale runs each time. I learned the scale of fifths recently for chord progressions and it helps, but to get a better sense of melody and such, how do I apply this to individual notes for actual playing? Uh, well, if you're looking at theory as a way to make your playing more melodic, you might be looking in the wrong place. Melody doesn't come from textbooks and theory. It comes from melody. So listening to different instruments playing songs uh, different songs, different genres, and listening to the melody and trying to maybe copy the melody. You can also get it from phrasing of sentences and words and languages. They can give you ideas for melody. But I wouldn't say looking up numbers and the, the cycle of fifths, which I'm sure you mean, um, that's not going to help so much with sense of melody and phrasing. 65 gauge strings aren't anywhere near bass strings. I'll use a 74 on my 7 string. Well, this is a set that I've used on my bass. You can see it's an empty packet. It is 45 to 105. If you can see that, 45 to 105. So saying that a 0.64 or 64 is nowhere near a bass string it is I have lighter strings on my bass what key is this at 48 seconds that is the G sharp Locrian mode oh I think I was referring to the root note so if G sharp is the seventh of a key note what should the key then be for it to be considered Locrian it's G sharp Locrian Oh, so it's G-sharp Locrian over A. Am I correct? Thanks. No, it's G-sharp Locrian over G-sharp. The scale is G-sharp Locrian. That's how modes work. We're not thinking about A at all. There is an A note in the G-sharp Locrian scale, but it's not the root note. And we're not playing A major. We're playing G-sharp Locrian. It happens to be the seventh mode of A major, but that's about the only connection. So it's not G sharp Locrian over A, it is G sharp Locrian over G sharp. We're playing it over a minor seven flat five chord, and that's that. It's nothing to do with A major, really. You sound like Spinal Tap. Your amp goes to 11, Stonehenge are two foot tall, and your guitar has great sustain, unplugged. Just listen to that sustain. Well, how much more Spinal Tap could I be? The answer is none. None more spinal tap. Expression is more important than speed. Look at Hendrix, Gilmore. The guitar is an emotionally expressive instrument. Only the sax equals it for this. Playing like Vivaldi is all well and good, but quite frankly, a bit old fashioned. First of all, I agree that expression is much more important than speed. That's kind of what music is. It's a form of expression. So that's always gonna come above speed. But, some of the other things, the guitar itself is not the most expressive instrument. I don't think you can say that about any kind of instrument. It's a very expressive instrument, but it depends who's playing it. 
So someone could be really expressive on a piano, it's just a slightly different way of being expressive. You can't do, for example, string bends and things like this. So saying that the guitar is a very expressive instrument, yes and no. Is playing like Vivaldi old fashioned? Well, he did live like hundreds of years ago, so yes. But then if the music's good, we shouldn't stop playing it. Does it mean just because he was around in like 1700 and something that we shouldn't play it now because it's somehow outdated? I think no, because it's music. If it's good music, it's good music. So there you go. So if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and support this channel by various means. You can also go to my website for more lessons and information on how to get in contact for one-on-one -on -one lessons via Skype or webcam. And until then, until next time, turn up and rock out.